tonight on Size Eyes on the Skies. Well, we are under a very uh, cold spell of temperatures today and tonight, but break out those shorts for the weekend. It's going to be a lot warmer coming up. He is in the studio with the National Forecast. All that and more, and more as this Tuesday, January 23rd edition of Size Eyes on the Skies starts right now. It's Wednesday night on ISU TV, broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. ISU TV's longest running television program brings you the weather from around the country to the heart of Iowa. The ISU Meteorology Department team of forecasters keep you ahead of the storm. From Iowa's most trusted weather team, this is Size Eyes on the Skies. Welcome back to this first show of the semester, and now I'm joined by Caleb. Well, Caleb, it's been pretty nice outside right now. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely not the January norm out there, so. No, definitely not. I, I got a car wash on Saturday over the weekend, and I'll tell you, the line was 10 cars long. I was very uh, surprised. I guess it was 45, though. It was Saturday, so everybody was out getting their car wash done. But it seems like, I think, yeah. what I've seen, that we're going to be the same boat this coming yeah, weekend. Yeah, we got a little snow yesterday, but temperatures are on the increase for the weekend. But as we take a look at our current temperatures across the state, across the board, we're mostly in the mid to upper 20s, with some low 20s up in Spencer and Sioux City with the snowpack they got yesterday, 12 inches of snow up in northwest Iowa and a little bit warmer as you head south and east through the state. But with those below freezing temperatures and these brisk north, uh, northwest winds coming out um, of the northwest at 10 to about 15 miles per hour is really making the feels like temperatures down the low teens to even some single digits out there. I'll have more coming up. And now it's time for tonight's trivia uh, weather story. In 1909, unseasonably warm weather pushed temperatures into the upper 60s and lower 70s across the state of uh, southeast Iowa, including a, a reading of 72 degrees at Keokuk, which is w just one degree shy of the all-time Iowa January record. Other reported high temperatures included 70 degrees at Bonaparte, Fairfield, and Keosauqua, 69 degrees at Bloomfield, and 68 degrees at Mount Pleasant and Ontumwa. The warm weather would be followed less than a week later by one of the worst blizzards in decades on the, on January, between January 28th and January 30th. Now hopefully we don't see that after we have our warm spell. And now we turn to Anthony with a, what, with a look at what's going on around the country. Thank you, Matt. Well, I'm not seeing any blizzard-like conditions coming up for us. After that massive winter storm moved out of the area, dumping up to a foot of snow in places like Minneapolis and up north, we are finally going to be clearing out and getting some relief with that January thaw coming in here. Right now, we're going to have to hold out for a little bit longer with 24 degrees right now in Minneapolis, 30 degrees in Kansas City with a little bit warmer down here in the south, and 76 in Miami. Man, don't you wish you were down there in Florida right now? I'll let you know what to expect coming up and if you can break out those shorts or if you need to stay bundled up. Joined by Anthony with a, look, with a look at what's happening around the nation. Anthony? Thank you, Matt. Well, as I mentioned, those temperatures are going to be warming up for us this later portions of the week. After that big snowstorm brought many places some snow, upwards of a foot of snow in Minneapolis, if you can believe it. But it is January, so we're going to be, be used to that until the end of this week where it's going to warm up. Right now, it's 34 degrees in Billings, 24 in Minneapolis, so staying pretty cool across the whole of the map. In the northeast, as we zoom it in, the one noticeable difference you'll see right here is it's 52 in New York, 53 in Washington, D.C., and then on the other side of a front, we have a 37-degree reading in Pittsburgh. That is that front associated with the low-pressure system that we had yesterday moving through, and that's going to clear out and bring temperatures down a little bit, and then as we go into the weekend, it's going to warm up. 50 degrees right now in Montgomery, 46 degrees in Little Rock, with mid-50s, mid-upper 40s here across the nation in the southeast. So pretty consistent across the whole of the map. And as we move this forward here, 
Uh, Oklahoma City, uh, 46 degrees right now. And then as we go out west, 60 degrees in Las Vegas, 65 in Los Angeles, 51 degrees in Reno, 43 in Elko. So pretty consistent with 30s across the eastern portions of the viewing area right here and 60s out as you go in California. So they're enjoying some nice warmth out there that's going to be moving its way into the Midwest and bringing a lot of people some warmth. Right now in this uh, northwest, 30 in Idaho Falls, 30 in Missoula, so pretty consistent again with 30s and just general winter-like conditions out there. With up in Washington, we have a system bringing in some rain, no snow right now, but as you go farther east, that's where that changes with that big system right here. You can see all that freezing precip up in the north with some clouds hanging behind it. There's a low pressure system right there, as I mentioned. That's going to be kicked out by a low, or a high, excuse me, moving in later this week, bringing in some nice temperatures with 50s even in some portions of the country, if you can believe it, in January right now. Watches and warnings that we got to get through this with winter weather advisories right now up in portions of Washington, pretty clear across the middle uh, part of the country, as was not the case yesterday. And pretty nice, though, not dealing with much right now, which is a nice welcome from what we were dealing with a couple days ago. As we advance our uh, map here, there's that high pressure system moving in, kicking out that low in the northeast, bringing some clouds to portions of Ohio, Indiana, but Iowa, portions of the Midwest. You guys are staying nice and clear. Look at that. It's just nice out there with rain consistently uh, in portions of the east coast, off, off the coast, excuse me, and that's associated with that front. That's going to be changing and clearing out here for us as we move in to the weekend. So a nice surprise with that snow right here dealing out in the west, 6.30 uh, Thursday on our timestamp. That low right here is going to be kicking off towards the east and forecast highs for tomorrow associated with that. 33 degrees in Cincinnati, 50 in Denver, so pretty uh, comfortable out there for the weekend. Our upper atmosphere right now shows you that big ridge that's going to be working in here for Thursday at 6.30 p.m. is our timestamp. That's going to have uh, a big impact on our temperatures that we're expecting here. Our Travel City forecast, uh, Columbus, Ohio, should be Indianapolis, but that's we'll roll with it. Wednesday, 33 degrees. Thursday, 48. 52 degrees on Friday, guys. And as we move into the rest of the week, looking pretty nice, holding in the 40s. Thank you, Anthony. Well, let's take a look at tonight's trivia question. And the question is, which weather organization names winter storms? Is it the AMS, NOAA, the National Weather Service, or D, the Weather Channel? And we'll have your answer coming up right coming right up. Now let's take a look at the week ahead with Caleb. Thanks, Matt. Wow, the cold spell will last for another day or two, but warmer temperatures are on the way as we might even have a taste of spring coming this weekend. I'll have more after the break. Welcome back to Size Eyes tonight. I am meteorologist Caleb Wood. We're gonna have one more cold evening tonight with temperatures way below freezing. I mean, in the low to mid-20s. But again, by the weekend, we're going to have a taste of spring as warmer air is going to make its way to Iowa and the Midwest. And we're going to have plenty of sun uh, for the end of this week and into next week as no major snow systems are expected for Iowa. Um, with our current conditions, right now in Ames, we're at 26 degrees. But that west-northwest wind of 14 miles per hour is very brisk making our feels like temperature, our wind chill temperature out there at 14 degrees. So still, you still need to bundle up if you're going outside on this Tuesday night. And our current temperatures right now, again, the southeastern part of the state is in the upper 20s, where uh, in contrast to the north and northwestern part of the state are in the teens and low 20s because that snowpack they got from yesterday's winter storm, even the blizzard yesterday up in this area of the state. That snowpack keeps temperatures colder up there. But again, in Ames and Des Moines, we're at 26 degrees um, in both cities. And if you take a look at our wind speeds again, again, most of the winds are from uh, the west, northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour, still funneling in that colder air at this point of the night. But again, with the wind, wind speeds in combination with our current temperatures, our wind chill or feel like temperatures are again in the mid to low teens across the state, even with a nine in Decorah and a 6 up in Mason City. So again, bundle up if you're going outside. It's pretty brisk tonight. Our satellite and radar picture showing some cloud cover coming in. So again, I don't expect temperatures to fall into the teens. Actual temperatures won't fall into the teens. They'll stay in the 20s because our cloud cover ask, acts as sort of a blanket and keeps some of that heat uh, close to the surface. 
So we take a look at our upper atmosphere pattern. This is way up in the atmosphere. And we have the jet stream highlighted by these uh, white arrows going through the southwest and moving way up through Minnesota and over to the east coast. And because the jet stream moves so far north, a lot of the warmer, um, more humid air towards the south will come into Iowa and anywhere below it, whereas the colder air is locked to the north of the jet stream. So the jet stream is sort of a barrier between the cold air mass to the north and the warm to the south. And we can see the jet stream evolve and get to this shape. And so the warm air is going to come to Iowa in a few days. Take a look at our forecast lows tonight. Again, we have 25 in Ames, just, just barely below average, 23 in Waterloo, and 15 in Sioux City and Spencer, respectively. Again, because of that uh, snowpack where they got over a foot of snow yesterday due to the blizzard. And if I advance my slides, again, tonight in Ames, about 21 um, to 22 degrees with mostly cloudy conditions, maybe some slight fog in the morning as well, so be aware of that if you're heading out early to work or to school. And like, I expect the winds to start to die down, more about 5 to 7 miles per hour instead of the 15 miles per hour we're experiencing right now. Forecast highs tomorrow, not too shabby, above average, with 40 in Ames, 42 down in Des Moines, and again, the northern part of the state where the snow is back in the upper 20s to mid 30s again. So we have quite the contrast, about 10 degrees spread in temperatures across the state tomorrow. In Ames, we're going to have 40 degrees with mostly sunny skies, a slight west wind. I expect today or tomorrow to be a great day to go outside, go to class, go to work, uh, have a party outside, do whatever. It's going to be a beautiful day. And as we take a look at our extended forecast for Ames, again, we have 40 tomorrow. We're going up near 50 Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with sunny skies prevailing. And then we get a little cold front coming in Saturday night before the 30s and 20s come back early next week. All right, thank you, Caleb. Let's take another look at tonight's trivia question. Which weather organization names winter storms? Is it A, AMS, B, NOAA, C, NWS, the National Weather Service, or D, the Weather Channel? So what do you guys think? Well, I, know, I know the answer looks pretty obvious, but I'll, I'll let you I was just debate. at the AMS conference in Austin, Texas, like two weeks ago, and I heard no mention of naming winter storms up there. So I don't think it's AMS. You guys have any other ideas? Anthony, do you have an idea? Well, I don't think the official weather service has put out uh, winter storm names. So I'm leaning towards the weather channel for this one, Matt. I really am. All right, and let's see what the answer is. The answer is D, the Weather Channel. I tune in every morning. To the Weather <laughs> Channel? Yep. Uh, I Jim Cantori and all of those uh, Jim Cantori yeah. is the only guy that I watch off that. Um, I yeah. personally don't believe Winter Storms should be named because, well, it's kind of pointless. And also, they're on the most likely on the East Coast when they're named. But so people often bring up the question, yeah. why do we name hurricanes and not Winter Storms? Well, hurricanes are stronger. <laughs> I, I so, think it leaves yeah. a lot of people confused. <laughs> I mean, it yeah. depends on I the mean, storm, yeah. Because it gives a context to it. Okay, this like, winter storm Grayson, like okay. for example. Who if you're gonna name, if you're gonna name a storm out in New York, why wasn't yesterday's storm named here in Iowa? You know, uh, that's, that's it's up for debate. Ask. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. up for debate in the weather community on whether we name them or not. Yeah, some people think we should. We like should name channel. Channel. Some Jim people don't. Well, let's that's, that's yeah. just let's just agree. The Weather Channel thinks they know everything when they don't. So. <laughs> Because well, we do. We do. We do. We're, we're, yeah. But we're, we're <laughs> a non-biased organization here at so. Size Eye, so. Well, yes. before we leave, I want to say happy birthday to my friend Jacob, and that concludes our show tonight. Please be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can find every show under our YouTube channel, under our Size Size channel on YouTube. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on Thursday.